Welcome to Bears and Exhale. Today is Tuesday, February the 5th, and this is a quick hit on the indexes. We're also going to take a look at the volume, uh, the internal volume structure of uh, the indexes as well. Um, here we are with SPX. Had a very nice day. It was not able to close above yesterday's high or the day before that, which is uh, good for the bears. But it did make a intraday higher high. So kind of a push-pull at that moment. Um, I do believe that our downtick uh, did not resolve itself and has now expired. One, two, three, four. So we have a failed downtick right here. Too bad. And uh, and then we have the second downtick, the more recent one, which was, was it confirmed? Or was it filled? Yes, it was filled. So one failure, and the more recent one did uh, did work out. Uh, this was not the move that I was looking for today, but uh, it is what happened. Uh, what do we have here? Well, we have the MACD negative divergence, of course, has yet to play out. We are fluctuating with the uh, the uh, MACD itself, looking for the bearish down. We have all of the other secondaries attempting to go back up, and the 14-day RSI moving average holding high. Uh, this isn't a bad showing whatsoever. Uh, if we do push up and get yet another new high, that negative divergence is even stronger. Um, this is just a waiting game. Now to look at the volume structure of SPX, we have to go to SPY. Only way we can get proper volume And what do we see? Well, we see that the two biggies, accumulation distribution and on balance volume, are not in danger. We do have a new red under the volume weighted MACD, which is minor. And uh, we do not have danger area in the volume price trend or the dual volume flow at this moment. Volume wise, overall, this is saying that it can go up some more. Uh, everything is pretty high. It's just a matter of time until the trigger lines are so close that uh, that it falls through them. But uh, at this moment, there just is not too much to work with. Nope. Sad to say. Going on to the Dow. Very similar to SPX. There isn't really any need to uh, to rehash. Uh, the uh, MACD histogram isn't as bad as SPX, but uh, these are all pretty darn high. Uh, it's just a waiting game, and to see the uh, internal structure volume, we have to go to DIA. And if we look at the internal structure of DIA, we have no reds, we have five greens. And are we in a danger zone at this moment on the volume weighted MACD? Yes, we are. On everything else, we're getting close on a few. We have the accumulation distribution going sideways high, just waiting for the trigger line to catch up with it. But uh, yes, we could make another high before we get the signal on volume that, uh, that this sucker is done. Going on to TNA looking at the Russell small caps. And the Russell is making all time new highs but wrong one. It doesn't look anything like SPX and the Dow. Not from uh, you know testing or exceeding the recent high. With the 14 day RSI moving average curling down we have uh, MACD, MACD histogram going down and the other secondaries are trying to go up. But when we look at the internal structure of volume, what do we see? We have two reds. That's more developed than the Dow or SPX. But by the same token, it is not the unbalanced volume and it is not the accumulation distribution uh, crossover. 
and we don't have a clear sign on these that they are about to get into danger zone and turn. But on the flip side, as long as these are not whipsaw, these two reds here, and we do see that there is some whipsaw, um, you know, you get one or two before everything else starts to turn. So this is encouraging for the bears, but it is early. It is early. Can have more room to the upside. And going on to the VIX. And here we are with the VIX. Said last night that we liked it going into the long-term moving average bar. Today it was pushed out of it. And what else do we see? We can see most of the secondary is trying to go down. Uh, this looks like a secondary reset to meet the 14-day RSI moving average. I think that we talked about that uh, back here. And so this is completely natural and it is fine. Now to look at the internal structure of this, I'm going to go to... And this is going to be a little bit confused. VXX. And you'll notice that it is very similar to the VIX. It is uh, more exaggerated to the downside. But uh, the volume here holds true to the VIX itself. And what do we see here? Well, we had five reds. We now have four reds. And we are going to be in danger on volume price trend, accumulation distribution, um, not so much on the unbalanced volume, but that could change very rapidly. And yes, danger on the dual volume flow. This one could move very quickly in uh, a positive direction, which would be bad for the overall market. But it is unproven. We only have one green. Now to get further clarification on what's going on with the overall market. I don't want to take up too much time. UUP, the dollar. UUP has been very funky. It has been going uh, down <laughs> nonstop and helping the markets every step of the way. Yesterday we had the uptick resolve itself. We had to see what it wanted to do next. It tried to go up. It was kicked back down. Um, what else do we see? We see a whole bunch of disagreement in the indicators. A whole bunch. Oops. There we go. And we know that the current bottom, if it was retested, would be good for the overall market. We know that if it's busted, good for the overall market. And if it goes up, bad for the overall market. And uh, it wasn't even able to, I mean, it kissed the long-term moving average bar and was kicked back. We know how much problems it's been having every time it comes into contact with it. And today was no different. We still have the stochastics moving up, the CCI moving up, uh, the MACD histogram going up and the 14-day RSI moving average going down along with the RSI. Overall, I would say that you're getting a secondary reset here, but the overall trend definitely is still down. Now, if we look at the volume of the dollar, you can see lots of things. We see that we have five reds. Very, very, very bad. Um, are we in danger of changing any of these? Not really. No, we're not. So more downside to the dollar could be expected at this moment. Seems very probable, and that would be good for the overall market. Um, getting down here to the current floor would uh, perhaps put us in a bottoming area in the unbalanced volume and in the accumulation distribution. Um, and those are the two that we would really need to see shift for there to be a nice movement up in the dollar and down in the overall market. This all coincides very well with the uh, structure of the Dow, of SPX, of, uh, of TNA. Down in this, up for them, and uh, we know that there isn't too much room, so that would be completely natural to max them out. And once they're maxed out, they should all fall apart together. And that's it. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for ent entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.